So in order to view the mails and calendar delegation page, you just need to click on file and go to preferences, click on calendar and to do, and click on access and delegation. On this window, you can add a user which you are giving access to your mail or contacts. Click on add. In here, you can specify everyone or you can just specify a person or a group. Just click on the drop down button and you can just select who or what group you want to give access to your mail file or contacts. You can also specify uh, which components of your mail file you want, give, you want to give access to the person or a group, such as mail, calendar, to do, or contacts. In this example, we're going to use the first one. And you can also specify how much access you want to give to the person or group, to your mail, calendar, to do, or contacts. You can either give read, read and create, and send, you can read, edit, create, and delete. In this exercise, we're going to use this one. For the automatic forwarding, if the user was invited to a meeting and he receives a calendar invite, the, the one that you gave access to, the one that you delegated your mail to, will also receive a, an email stating the, the calendar invite, in which depending on the access that you give him, he can either accept or decline the mail, or I mean the calendar invite. So that is how to create. You just click OK, and that is how to add users onto your access and delegation. In here, I have already created a user. I mean, I have already added a user to the access and delegation page of James Carter. The user is test user, and here are his access. He can read, edit, create delete any document, send mail, and enable out of office. You will also receive email when James Carter receives a calendar invite. So now to test that the test user can access his mail, I will log in using that user. So I am on the test user account, and I will access his mail. So I was able to successfully access his mail. And given on based on the access that was given to this user, I can also read, which is this one. I can also read. I can create new mails. I can also delete mails. And I can also do the same on his calendar. I'm going to open James Carter's calendar. I have created an email before. I have created a meeting invite. Here it is. That was sent by the administrator. So as the test user, I can delete this one because access was given to me to delete. So I, am, I can either accept or decline or edit the calendar invite. So I can either, either accept or decline. So this one, I'm going to accept on behalf of James Carter. So here it is. And I can also receive, when, when the user, James Carter, receives a calendar invite, I am also, that, that mail is also forwarded to me, as you can see here because of what we added on the auto-forwarded auto -forwarded part of the access and delegation. I can also access the user's contacts. In this time, this is a new user, so it has no contacts, but I can access his contacts as shown here. That's it for now. I hope that you learned a lot. Thank you for watching the video. Thank <laughs> you.